Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is going to be the next edition of the Ghostly Take. A quick, short preview to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms against the Binghampton Devils. The Binghampton Devils are 2-5, 2-1. One. They've been struggling mightily this season. A good part of that has to do with the fact of, one, injuries, but uh, also the biggest factor being that they had a lot of guys out at the NHL level. So then people on the taxi squads, they had a lot of guys playing up in the lineup that normally wouldn't be, so maybe they'll be able to bounce it out some. But they're in a tough division playing uh, us, the Phantoms, and then, of course, Wilkes-Barre, and then also Hershey. And it seems like they're the team that's kind of falling under and kind of being the Florida Marlins, to use a baseball comparison, of the division other than last year when the Marlins, of course, showed up and showed out and made the postseason. But the Phantoms are 6-2-2. Two and two. They've been looking good and looking sharp. Um, it seems like... They're coming into this game with a lot of spunk and fire. They got 14 points, of course, and uh, they're a team that everybody just seems to be firing on all cylinders. Ryan Fitzgerald, as a veteran, continues to do great things. Mueller went in, does great things. Uh, Kasha just shows up and shows out in the AHL level, even when he doesn't get on the point. Uh, on the board with a point he just looks very good out there and is able to get guys open able to kind of help generate the offense and that goes a long way as well um, a big news though is the Lion King is back uh, as the Phantoms Twitter said uh, Alex Lyon is back the Phantoms all-time uh, winning goaltender so uh, it's good to see him back it seems like he'll be uh, starting tonight one would think and then that means Felix Sandstrom has been moved back to the taxi squad um, to be uh, in the Flyers taxi squad. So Lyon, they want to get him some work. That's why they moved Sandstrom down in some Phantoms news to be able to get him some work. He looked good. Now they're going to go with McIntyre and Lyon, probably let Lyon play a couple games just like they did with Sandstrom because he's the guy that needs to get in the work. The last time he played was March 11, 2020, where he had 33 saves as a great Bob Road Truck right on 35 shots and a 2-1 overtime loss against the Baby Penguin. But he was very good in that game. Uh, the team was just not able to prevail. Where last year you would see that in his numbers as well. He had great numbers of goals against average and save percentage. Just not the best record because the team was not able to prevail that much last year. But this year they're looking good. They're looking fine. You got Lyon back down here. Who um, obviously, like I said, is their all-time winningest goaltender. And it's great to be able to see him come back down. And have a guy in McIntyre who's one of the AHL's better performing goaltenders thus far. So it's going to be a good tandem there. I'm excited to see Lyon back down. That's some big news for the Phantom to have him back down and the ability to use him. Um, I think you got to look when it comes to this game. <clears throat> it is the last time these teams met was the 24th at Newark. When Wilman scored an overtime winner, that's one of the Phantoms' overtime winners on the season. The Devils did start the season 2-0-0, so they really did not, from the technical gate, uh, do bad. But then after that, they went 0-5-3, as Road Truck writes. Um, obviously, Fitzgerald, the last time out, scored the great OT winner. This is a team that has definitely looked good in overtime. And as people know now, you can get some tickets at a limited capacity. Uh, Pascal LeBurge also came out of a out of the lineup and scored a goal when he played against Binghamton and got injured later in that game, but then has looked good recently since coming back again. So he's a player I look to to step up again tonight for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms against the Binghamton Devils. I believe in order to beat this Devils team, you're going to have to see a lot of guys step up, and I think you're going to see the veterans. You're going to see Forster continue to look good out there. He had that one tripping penalty the other day that you're going to see some young kids make like the great Antonio Andrakis. Um tweeted about, but you see Lozinski, you see these young kids in Lozinski, LeBurge, and Kasha just playing the game the right way and really progressing like you want to see the ECHL stand out from the Royals route. Kudiemi looks pretty good when he has to be put in the lineup as well. Mason Millman looks very good and consistent as an underage on defense back there, and that's very good to see. Sandine looks great when in. 
Obviously, Willman looks good when he's healthy. Uh, Wilson also has looked good. Wisdom's been amazing. Uh, Wyatt Wiley's been good. They've had the young defensemen have to step up big time because of injuries, but they have. And I think if Lyon's in, he's going to step up. If Max in, I assume Lyon will be back in because that's why they would have to or want to send him down, excuse me, so he can get the playing time. So if he's in, he's going to roar and be able to have a good game. You're going to see the veterans step up again when it comes to the Mueller's, the O'Reilly, who's an AHL, one of the AHL's best all-timers of the world. And then you're going to see guys like Morin, who's been very good since going back to defense, I think step up. The guys that I really look to stand out in this game, though, are the Lazinski, who's really been good this season this far, Mason Millman, who just does everything on defense. He might not get on the score sheet, but if you watch, Big number eight, he just gets it done and does everything great. And then Kasha, number 38, I look for them to really step up big. As well as Alex Lyon in goal, if he's in goal, or Zay McIntyre, because I believe in all the goaltenders, including Sandstrom, big time when it comes to this team. They got a good set of three. Hope everyone enjoyed this edition of the Ghostly Take. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody, and enjoy the hockey. Peace out.